back screens for Creighton. They'll be patient, looking for the open man. This is Peyton Brodsky with seven on the shot clock. Nice cut, and a floater falls for Carly Batchelor. And you'll see that all. 2-2, two, two, a minute in. There's Ron Sick on Armstrong on the block. Ron Sick, the ninth leading scorer in the conference, leads this Blue Jay team in that category and scoops that one home. Interesting to the full court pressure Coach Vizella talked about prior to the game. A little 1-2-2 two, two here, speed the game up a little bit. Talked about wanting to try and turn Creighton over, but the Blue Jays break the press beautifully there. They tie it up 6-6. Six, six. Backdoor for Jensen, kick out. Rembau wanted to take the three, drive, and now it's a corner three from Brotsky. Again, they, they need to keep Rembau out of the lane. They can't help off the... From mid-range, too strong. A nice rebound there from Ronsick. Rembau cutting to the basket. Plus the foul for Rachel Saunders. Freshly into the game. Even though it's not their last home game, she wants to be celebrated tonight. Molly Mogensen. Espinosa Hunter nearly got that pass intended for Ronsa. Cross court for Morgan Molly. Drains a triple. Morgan Molly, the lefty, is a senior at Seton Hall over the last couple of years. Six for Espinosa Hunter to start. Space for Mallory break. They gave her cushion on the perimeter. Elects to take it. Andrew. And some action for Jensen, but defended well. Now on the left block, Ronsick goes at Cooks and scores. Had the mismatch Park buckets out of her tonight. There she got in the paint and kicked it to Park Lane. Here's Rachel Saunders. Out for Ronsick. This three gives Creighton the lead back. What a quick release by Ronsick. Impressive at the three-point line. Half court set now for Creighton. Loganson goes away from the Ronsick screen, banks it home anyway. Short on the two, and back the other way from the Blue Jays. Ronsick, quick trigger on the three, and the Blue Jays back ahead. For her to penetrate right now. Park Lane goes one of two. Seat Hall by a point. Can and already was really good ball movement by Creighton here in the second half, whipping it around. More their style. Yes. Ronsick, no. Contested by Cooks. Another opportunity. That one won't fall either. Ronsick sticking with it on the boards. Kick out for a three from Jensen. Spinoza Hunter leading all scores with 16. Cooks has 13. Deep three out of the timeout from Molly is off. Ronsick the second chance. Loganson tries it and hits. The play. Tough shot by Park Lane there off the pick and roll. Again, Creighton does a good job of showing bodies, and there's nowhere to go in the paint. Seton Hall looking to win their seventh in a row. It would be their longest winning streak since they won eight straight back in 2015. Mogensen knocks that one down. He'll roll it a three to give Creighton a two-point lead. How's the hunter feeling if the Lauren Park Lane is uh, thinking about taking this one over? Park Lane has 29 fourth quarter points over our last two games. Molly gets that one to go. It's back to a one-score. Jackson, extra pass, Espinosa Hunter too strong on the three. Bodies hit the floor. Creighton comes up with it. It's Ronsick ahead for Saunders. Beautiful patience. Gets the two. And Jackson's down here uh, in the front court. Nice job there. Ronsick able to take it away from Maya Bembry. Chance to tie or take the lead for Creighton. It'll be Jensen to the cut to Nottis at 73. Seton Hall came into that, out of that timeout wanting to get the ball. Less than three minutes to play. Lauren Jensen playing with four fouls. She has 11 points today. Molly trying to tie it up. She does. Same thing right there. She's a clutch player in the fourth quarter. Design, though, for Espinosa Hunter, who has a career-high 32. A good defense. Molly Mogensen has played great today. And she's made that jumper going to her left. Driving across the lane and throwing it away to Ronsick. Yeah, I don't know why Seton Hall didn't go back to that same play. They had a little trouble getting into what they wanted to right there, and it led to a turnover. I've seen Ronsick do that several times, really good at dissecting those passes. Molly for the lead. Yes. 
you know, you can count on her early in the game, late in the game. Every time it leaves her hand to the ball screen, flare screen for Espinosa Hunter. This time, Rembaugh goes over it. Bembry, seven on the shot clock, less than a minute in overtime. It's with Espinosa Hunter. Top of the key with three. Has to put it up. It's poked away by Mogensen, but it's a shot clock violation, and it's Creighton ball. Great defense there by the Blue Jays. What's in store with 1.2? Bembry looking. Oh, throws it out of play. It's going to go to Creighton. No timeouts left for Creighton. They have to take it out of bounds there. They can't advance it. No time comes off the clock. And a dejected look from Tony Bazella after that play. But it is in the backcourt for Creighton, and you said no timeouts. You, you asked if we've seen it all. Let's see if Remba can throw it in from 70 feet. In for Rembao. Hoist before the buzzer. Oh! It's good! It's good! Tatum Rembao stuns the Pirates! I didn't think she had enough time to get that far and throw it in. I thought she was going to have to heave it from the backcourt. An amazing shot by Rembao. She couldn't buy a bucket all night. And she throws it in right there. The referees are going to go look at that. It did seem like maybe the clock didn't start on time. Let's see if, we, if that's correct. Oh, that is close. It would be her first made field goal of the game. Let's see that again. Our great producer Sam racking it up for us. Oh, oh wow. You just can't tell. It's good. You gotta look at the you gotta look at the light right here. I think it's good. But you didn't can't hear the horn. No. I can't remember if it's horn, light, light, horn. Rembo is in disbelief, by the way. So is the Seton Hall crowd, who's been tremendous tonight. Oh, they've been fantastic. And again, I didn't think she had enough time. For Creighton, and you said no timeouts. You, you asked if we've seen it all. Let's see if Rembo can throw it in from 70 feet. In for Rembo. Hoist before the buzzer. Oh, it's good. It's good. Tatum Rembo stuns the Pirates. I didn't think she had enough time to get that far and throw it in. I thought she was going to have to heave it from the backcourt. An amazing shot by Rembo. She couldn't buy a bucket all night. And she throws it in right there. The referees are going to go look at that. It did seem like maybe the clock didn't start on time. Let's see if, we, if that's correct. Oh, that is close. It would be her first made field goal of the game. Let's see that again. Our great producer Sam racking it up for us. Oh, oh wow. You just can't tell. It's good. You gotta look at the you gotta look at the light right here. I think it's good. But you didn't can't hear the horn. No. I can't remember if it's horn light. Saunders. Amaransic now. Nine on the shot clock. Drive out for Rembau. She'll go to the cup. Back out. Open three for Ronsick. Great ball movement. End of the shot clock execution by Creighton. They're so composed. He has 22 points today. Mogensen approaching three minutes to play in the second overtime. Rembau left alone underneath. And now that is her first made field goal. And that one counts. We talked about it earlier when... when, when. Quickly the other way. Saunders, we're tied up again. Big, My goodness. Big bucket by Saunders right there. Aggressively to the basket. Good afternoon here at Walsh. An unbelievable basketball game from South Orange. And it goes the way of Creighton. 97 to 91 in double overtime. The Blue Jays thought they had it at the end of the first five minutes. They get it done in double OT. What a game. And you have to give the kids Creighton a lot of credit to bounce back from that high and low, from the disappointment of you thought you won the game, you thought you were on the way to the airport. They take about 10 minutes to overturn it, and then you got to get yourself ready to play five more minutes, and then you play really well in those five minutes. Credit to Coach Flannery and his staff for regrouping his team. Credit for the leadership of the upperclassmen for Creighton.